Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. currently 10.07 right now and it's Saturday, December 2nd and uploaded yesterday's vlog. Go watch that if you haven't already. Pretty proud of myself for getting it up so early and editing it all yesterday. And I'm not really sure what we're doing today. I'm wearing my festive pajamas, of course, as always. But uh, Long One Guard is a sold out. We were gonna, like I said in yesterday's vlog, we were gonna go there and get some awesome footage and have a nice time there and walk around and look at all the pretty stuff and get some exercise. But they were sold out, of course. It's the first Saturday of December. Everyone wants to look at all that festive stuff. So yeah, we're gonna try again for tomorrow, but unfortunately we can't go today. But so I don't really know what our plans are for today. I guess we're just gonna be spontaneous like we always do. And I need to work on my English project today. It's not hard, but I still have to do a bunch of it. And then tomorrow, probably start it tonight. To do my history project which is not fun so I'm not gonna vlog that much but uh yeah when we do fun stuff and I, when I want to talk to y'all I will so yeah I should I probably should get some water and breakfast and maybe work out and I'm not really sure what else to do today I'm gonna talk to my dad about that so yeah just wanted to start today's vlog and yeah bye hey guys here's my breakfast we got my uh, uh what's uh, <laughs> okay, my smoothie bowl, just the normal smoothie bowl with the berries and the cherries and the spinach and the other shit. And then we got my coffee with some vanilla almond milk. Oh, oh goodness. And uh, we got a coffee candle. I'm not going to eat it, but it looks cute and it smells good. And then we got some maple syrup, which I'm totally going to drink this whole bottle. I'm just joking. So yeah. Takes. The quicker you do it, the quicker you make the 10 bucks. <laughs> The most attractive angle. No, you do it one time. Oh. Is this the most attractive angle you've ever seen? Get your freaking feet off the computer. Yeah, get your freaking feet off the computer. I yo! No, I missed. <laughs> okay. So I want to tell you guys something I've started doing, just to be nice, you know? I need to be nice sometimes. I'm a bitch most of the time, so I need to be nice. Can we all agree to that? Agree on that? Zachary? I'm not a part of this. Yes, you are, but mostly, most of the time, am I a bitch? Yeah. Thank you. So what I've started doing, it's kind of small. You know which house they live in? No. Hi. <sighs> so rudely interrupted. Ugh. Anyway, so I've started to like, I said, if you guys saw my Snapchat story, which you should have, it says, uh, let's read. <laughs> read the perfect, exact words. There's a perfect freaking thing to plug. What? Pez Zoe 77. Easy. Stop it! It's in my description and it's on my end screen. It says, okay, so I'm gonna start wishing people happy birthday on my story. Every day I know it's someone's birthday. I don't care how good of friends we are or even if we're not friends. I just want to be nice and acknowledge everyone's birthday. So today, happy birthday, Natalie and Brent. Just these girls who go to my school. And oh, they're really sick. nice to me. What? Sack? Sack? Brin Sack? <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, I know who you're talking about, but that's not her last name, but okay. Anyway. I know, I didn't want to say the last name of Canada. Okay, anyway. So, I was just like, okay, so the, the past two of my birthdays, no one knew it was my birthday. And when I turned 11, no one knew it was my birthday. And it was really depressing. And there's just certain people who just, like, their birthdays are just, like, forgotten. And I feel so bad, because I've experienced it. So, I want to make sure I, I, everyone's birthday is acknowledged, and at least one person can make them happy. 
happy that they knew it was their birthday. And even if like they have a lot of friends and they've all wished them happy birthday, I don't care what their social status is. I just want to wish everyone happy birthday. You know, I just think it's a nice thing to do, right, Zach? Thank you for for like talking when I asked you to. You're a useless piece of shit. I want to punch you in the face so bad now. You suck. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, and I recommend you do the same. Just, just, just you know, if, if, if people at your school, even if you're not friends with them or they don't like you, just, just unless they're like really bad, because there's no. people who like are bitches and I'm just like no not you don't deserve happiness but <laughs> that's only no, an extreme that's a freaking cursing you don't have to bleep it it's not a big deal that's only in extreme cases though but yeah most of the time if you just know it's someone's birthday just just you know give them a quick little shout out you know message them on whatever social media you can and put it on your story just to like be nice you know all right I'm gonna go now Bye. Hey guys, it's currently 12.50 right now. I finished up my English speech, but my dad and I have to edit it because it's way too long. You guys know, I'm, I get very passionate about certain things and I'm very passionate about this topic and I get really like detailed and in depth with things, which is definitely not a bad thing, but this speech has a time restriction to three and a half minutes and mine was like eight minutes, so that's really bad. So that, yeah. But like I said, it's not a bad thing to be really descriptive and detailed and in depth. But it's really diff so it's really difficult for me to like stay in a time limit. So my dad is really good at um he you know he does this for a living. So he's really good at helping me edit that. So I'm gonna have to. So, but right now my brother and my dad are out getting a haircut, and I also finished up editing this vlog up until this point. And then I got dressed, and now my mom and I are gonna get mani pedis. I don't know if my mom's getting a pedicure. She might be, but I'm getting a mani pedi, and I always get gel because it lasts so much longer and it makes my nails so much so much stronger and my nails always break when I don't have them done and they just, just look really ratchet so we're gonna go get our nails done and then I'm gonna get back home edit this do some more homework I don't know and then later tonight this like this evening and this afternoon we're all gonna go to Whole Foods and pick up something for dinner yeah I'm not really sure what else but right now we're gonna go get Manny Petties have a nice girl bonding time. Oh, and I am trying to convince my mom to open a P.O. Up, open up a PO box today. Cause I keep saying that, I keep reminding her, and we just haven't done it yet. And it's time because I keep getting emails from and comments from subscribers saying they want to send me stuff. And I, I love you for that. You don't have to, but I really appreciate it. But I'm not gonna give you my address. That's uh, no, like you know, no, that's obvious. So I need a PO box. So uh, it's time. It's about. It's time for that. So I'm gonna convince her to open up one today so uh yeah talk to you guys later okay hey guys we're on our way to go get our man <laughs> to go get our nails done and i just wanted to give a quick shout out to my cousins in florida we saw them when we went in august right yes and they mailed us this this, this little motherfucker and his name is Fly Stanley. <laughs> and he's he's this football dude you know he's, he's pretty chill he likes um the university of miami i i i guess you know i'm just gonna guess that because you know Miami's in Florida right no oh, it's on his hands there that's that sign right there that's... oh I didn't know that well they well you just informed me of that so mm -hmm. he likes the number eight that's Zachary's favorite number fun back for you and uh yeah and anything else I should say thank you thank you what for what we're sending us this little this little um this little guy got uh, hanging with I us. could think of plenty of other words but yeah He's a dick though. How old, is, how old is, are, are our cousins? Oh, he's probably in like third grade maybe. Oh, that's <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's currently 3.13. Obviously I'm home from the nail salon now. I would have vlogged if it wasn't so freaking awkward, but I've actually been home for like 45 minutes maybe. But that took so long. Got there at like, my mother's coming into my room. I'm a messy boobie. She just came in here to bring me some food. She made me some potatoes and this is maple syrup. Anyway, that took so long. And, but here's my nails. They don't look too bad. I got this red color and he didn't, 
I really wish he would have asked me what shape I wanted because I always get the more square shape with like the round edges, but they're more square. But he just like made them like the, the round pointy ones, which I are not my favorite, but whatever. And uh, here are my toes. I also got red. It's a little bit of a different shade of red, but it's also red. I like red. You guys know my favorite nail polish colors are red and white, and that's pretty much all I get. But anyway, so yeah, that's that. And again, I've been doing all this vlog up to this point. I probably should stop saying that. It's probably really annoying. So I'm going to stop doing that, but I'm just like so proud of myself that I just want to like share my enthusiasm with you. So I'm going to finish up my potatoes and then my dad and I, I don't know if anyone else is coming with us, but definitely my dad and I are going to head over to Whole Foods. Look at the Christmas trees. Bars, the Nuggo dark chocolate thing, and then the Nuggo dark chocolate pretzel bars. I love these bars, so we gotta stock up. I stock up. And they don't go bad, so it's all good. It's all good, man. Yeah. It's kind of what I eat when I'm like, I should eat something, but I'm not that hungry. So yeah, and it's portable and easy. Recommend bars, not to live off of bars, obviously, but they're good, convenient, portable little sma snacks. Olive bar? Sure, they, the olives always get eaten, so let's get some of this. Okay, pull up, Dave. I got this cool olive tapenade. They just look really good, and, and I love olives. And this would go really good with pasta or spread on like a bagel. Oh, yeah. And then the olives here, we got peppers, red pepper stuffed olives or pimento stuffed olives, right? Wait, wait. Yeah, pimento stuffed olives. And then the, 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 the pickled in there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Kalamata olives, garlic stuffed olives, and gherkin, some mushroom gravy, and then a no-go chocolate chip cookie. Oh, and then asparagus, mushrooms, and peppers, and the cherry tomatoes. All update, priority. Coffee, potato leek soup, pickles, vegan mac and cheese, gluten-free garden pagoda ancient harvest pasta. We got garlic and herb rice peel off. We got fish <laughs> rice. People are staring at me. Oh well. Fire roasted diced tomatoes. Spring onion noodle soup. That's that's it. Yeah, that's it. All day. So we're veggie burgers, of course. Raw sugar, vanilla almond milk, tempeh bacon, canned peaches. My dad just put in there. Got some pudding and it's vegan. Well, you can make it vegan. Just added non dairy milk instead of milk. What is that? Oh, Mandarin oranges. What else? Oh, right. Um, cubed tofu. Super firm tofu. I, I like to put barbecue sauce on it and roast it. Is that it? Is that the only. Uh, okay, bacon. Said that. I think, I think that's it. I think that's it for the update. Alright, let's go. I'm a teenage girl. What do you expect to come out of my mouth? Anyway, it's got this little penguin guy. It's really soft. It's really freaking cute. But I can't decide if I want him or not. Oh, and then I was like, look at this uh, giraffe. <laughs> I said it's a good, it's a good sex toy. Whoops, it's probably a little inappropriate, but I think you can imagine what someone would do on that as a sex toy. Okay, this guy's just like chilling in here. Just like staying. He's not like falling out. I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with that. Anyway, I just got some Ben and Jerry's non-dairy vegan ice cream and coffee caramel fudge and uh, chocolate fudge brown. That, you know, my norm, my normal ones, the really good ones. Is there anything else new here? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. And now we're in the baked goods and bar section. Dad, this is just staying here. It's not moving. It's not falling out. I'm pretty happy. All right, so I got um, my, my emotional support system. Okay. So, all right, so got a loaf of ciabatta bread, and then I got a pizza slice. That's this cool vegan potato rosemary pizza. I'm gonna make it heat it up a little later, but can I, can I even like open this like with one hand? There we go. 
Look, look at that. That's beautiful. It was it up? Yeah. I want to have. I, I, I had pizza last night, so I want. But I just wanted to try this, so I got one slice of it. Got some chocolate chip muffins, the vegan Abe's chocolate chip muffins, and anything else new? I don't think so. Last. All update of the day is I got a little bit of vegan chicken noodle soup instead of chicken. Nah, actually. Instead of chicken, it's what's it called? Is it Satan? Right? I don't know. I think, it, I think it's Satan. Yeah. And then Father already put the other two things on here. Got some lemon dill carrots. And then under there is rosemary roasted sweet potatoes. And then this guy, I have an emotional attachment to him now, so we're gonna have to get him. Oh well. And, and we're we're gonna have this guy be um, like an elf on a shelf, mention on a bench kind of thing. Our parents are gonna hide him everywhere. What is that? How does that? How does the elf on a shelf work? <laughs> I don't know. I've never I, had I don't know anything about it. I don't even know what, it, what the purpose of it is. Just some random creepy guy just staring at you all the time. That's really. Somebody please explain me, explain to me how Elf on a Shelf's work, because I'd really like to know. I'm curious. Sweating in the sun. Look at that Ooh, moon that's right there. That's cool. Uh, looks a little different on the camera. It looks darker in person. It looks like lighter in on the camera, but yeah. You can adjust so cool that though. I don't know, but this whole view is kind of cool. It's well. I'm gonna shoot my face because I'm beautiful. We're at Starbucks right now, and uh, yeah, we're gonna just go get some get some Starbucks, get some napkins. Get home. Yeah, yeah. Eat some dinner. Fun, and I'll edit and do homework and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's blowing on it for me. <laughs> By the way, um, this is Penguin Gwen for short. Hey guys, it's Gwen. That's my alter ego name if you didn't know that already. <laughs> okay, hey guys, long time no vlog. It's currently 10.05 p.m. right now. And I've been, I was editing for a while and then my neighbor came over and she was like, Zoe, my daughter's friend, like all of her friends want to meet you and they're all seniors and it's her birthday party. And I just came over for a little while and it was kind of, it was kind of hard for me, not gonna lie. I have really bad social anxiety and I really really socially awkward and it was a bunch of seniors and I'm a freshman and I was very overwhelmed and I was really awkward and they probably all hate me now and they probably think I'm just like a socially awkward little freshman <laughs> yeah but I like I tried to be nice and stuff I did the best I could <laughs> but I uh, yeah that's what I was doing and I didn't get any vlog footage because I felt so awkward but uh they were mostly nice to me I just felt really awkward so <laughs> yeah I think it's important for me to obviously, like, because I have social anxiety, to some degree, I need to kind of be by myself because I can't be around people, like, all the time or it would not be good. But maybe for small amounts of time, I need to put myself into social situations so that I get over it. Obviously, if I was in social situations 24-7, I would probably wind up in the hospital from having, like, panic attacks but you know every once in a while I need to put myself in social situations so that I can overcome the the social anxiety and the fear of being judged and hated by people uh, so yeah this has been really it was, it was a little bit difficult for me but I did my best and I really hope none of them were judging me or are judging me or hate me or anything. I doubt it. I'm also not used to like being around like, you know, senior girls because I'm so used to being around girls my age and it's, it's very different. It's more different than you would think. I mean, I don't know what you would think but senior girls and freshman girls are very very different people so it gets i'm not used to it so yeah but like i said i need to put myself in social situations every once in a while so that i, I don't know i guess I, it helps to overcome the fear i guess when as like let, let's for example with like working out when you work out and then you get really sore you actually want to work out while you're still sore because then your body's working even harder and burns more calories so if i'm like socially anxious and i put myself in a social situation i guess 
I hope this is, uh, that was a good analogy. I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. I'm really tired and I'm really kind of still like overwhelmed from that. So I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So I'm just going to go now. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys. I'm doing a live stream on Instagram right now. So uh, check, check these peeps out. Who wants to be in it? Hey. So this is like a combination of my like my classmates and my subscribers. I I cannot speak today. Like you know I can't vlog in school anymore, so you're gonna have to do it this way. And no one's gonna come to my house. So all right. Oh my god, why is it so zoomed in? Ah, that's, I just got really scared right there because it was like really zoomed in on my face. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, it's 12 a.m. now, so it's technically the next day, and uh, I need to finish editing this vlog, and I realized I forgot to end it. So I'm just gonna end today's video here. If you'd like to give it a big thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video and my channel to those who you think might be interested, and leave me comments down below. The comment of the day will be... How old are you? Have I ever asked that? I don't know. But just let me know. I just want to know how old you are. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. Bye.